हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन टू मेटालिक स्फीयर्स ऑफ रेडियस वन सेंटीमीटर एंड टू सेंटीमीटर आर गिवन चार्जेस टेन पर माइनस टू कुलूम्स एंड फाइव इंटू टेन पर माइनस टू कुलूम्स रिस्पेक्टिवली इफ दे आर कनेक्टेड बाय अ कंडक्टिंग वायर द फाइनल चार्ज ऑन द स्मॉलर स्फीयर वी नीड टू फाइंड द स्मॉलर स्फीयर्स फाइनल चार्ज इज गिवेन बाई विच ऑफ द फॉलो सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव अ स्मॉल स्फीयर एंड लार्जर स्फीयर This has a charge of five into ten power minus two coulombs and a radius of two centimeter. This has a charge of ten power minus two coulombs and one centimeter. And this is connected by a conducting wire. So now what happens is the potential, potential on the smaller uh, sphere is going to become the potential on the larger sphere, right? The potential is going to be constant. Now potential at the center due uh, at any point inside a sphere is given by the charge on the sphere divided by four pi epsilon naught times the radius of the sphere is equal to the potential. So now since this is constant, we can say that q small divided by four pi epsilon naught r small is going to be q large divided by four pi epsilon naught. R large, so four pi epsilon naught gets cancelled. So we have finally q small by r small is going to be q large by r large. Right. So after this, now what we know is that the initial charges were ten power minus two coulombs and five into ten power minus two coulombs. Since there is no external source of charge, it is a independent body. This is isolated from everything else. So we have initial charge as ten power minus two plus five into ten power minus two. This is going to be equal to the final charge, which is going to be q small plus q large. Now, since we have to find the final charge on the uh, on the smaller sphere, what we can do is we can substitute q large from this equation. So using that equation, we have q small plus q small into radius large divided by radius small. Is equal to five into ten power minus two plus ten power minus two, so six into ten power minus two. So the r large is given by two centimeter and r small is given by one. So we have nothing but three q s is equal to six into ten power minus two. Right. So now what we can do is q s is given by six into ten power minus two divided by Three times Q S, so just three, which is going to be equal to two into ten power minus two. Right. So this is going to be in coulomb. So the answer for this question is going to be option D, two into ten power minus two coulomb. I hope you understood how I solved this question. Thank you very much.